Welcome to another Out of Spec Renew video. Today is quite exciting. We flew especially to the UK to meet with the Frenchies that brought their fantastic electric polo to the Goodwood Players event. So I'm here with Julien, who brought the polo straight from France to show it and potentially win an award today. So, um, Julien, tell us why this polo is unique in so many ways. It is unique because it's a combination of a personal history and also a concept tuning car. So when uh, Julien says concept, it, this looks like a uh, OEM concept car for, you know, the Geneva show or the New York Auto Show, but actually they made it all themselves. Yeah, we built it over the last 10 years with uh, friends. Uh, it was not in the professional way, it was uh, some year were hobby and uh, we make it for fun and also as a tribute okay so why do you start making a car for fun when it looks like it was a million dollar uh, concept car from volkswagen <laughs> it is not so 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 high uh, just 999 <laughs> yeah. uh, no we built this car as a tribute to a friend of us it used to be his car it was his car in a era style porsche style back in the days uh 2024 uh, and we rebuilt the car and then with the years, with the new ideas on it, we made a kind of concept of what could be the tuning in something. Okay. So the funny thing is the Polo, Volkswagen Polo was never distributed in America. So it's really a European, okay. uh, South Africa and Australia car, but it's in many ways, it's just a smaller Golf. Yeah. Um, and you guys completely change it. So let's walk around the car and see why this is unique. Um, there's no more ICE engine, it's just an electric drivetrain from a Smart Electric. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of parts from Smart EV. Yeah. Uh, and of course a lot of handmade work. It's also parts from uh, China. It's a, uh, that's the world of tuning. You, okay. you do it yourself. And yeah. It does not exist. So a lot of Volkswagen parts, a lot of Porsche parts and a custom one-off battery pack yeah. feeding the Smart uh, Electric, like Smart for to electric car so let's walk around there's no part that seems to be original for instance the wing is actually bigger because it's taking parts of the what used to be the hood um, one front bonnet yeah okay, to look at the porsche uh, style and uh, have, when it's open from here you still have the line of the car and yeah. you don't see the the back parts of engine of stuff like that so the doors are frameless now yeah because you wanted to make this part stronger Very strong. because you have a glass roof. <laughs> the power on the metal roof on it. Yeah. It's a one piece, it's a one off. Uh, it's full out of glass just like helicopters. Yep. And we, we will build it. Yeah, that was the main part of the of the concept at first, even before the electric conversion. Okay. So because you build a car with a regular motor from a smart four to yeah. petrol engine, the, gas engine. The idea yeah. was to have a, a rear engine yeah. to get propulsion. And at first it was quite we wanted to, to look at the hybrid side. Uh, and we put a smart engine turbo in the rear. And uh, we decided finally to turn an electric after many years. Yeah. But the, the, the design the concept was all that all that time okay Rinders, so roof etc we'll look at the interior in a minute but again the funny thing is you got <laughs> windows <laughs> rolling down windows um the body hasn't been ch altered too much just enough to fit the porsche wheels and brakes and then in the back <laughs> yeah absolutely you see jerome when it's closed first we reproduce this this part as a golf too because usually on polos it's here yeah. and that does not very very fit very well after golf three they decided to put here and for the golf two that's the best part okay of the rear so we reproduce that okay and here you have some plugs, this, you, have some plugs. <laughs> you can charge whatever you need it's not to recharge eh? it's just yeah, to charge. yeah yeah, yeah. So what are these? This is uh, the solar system because you have uh -huh. some solar on the roof, solar panels, yeah. and it helps. It's not really recharging. Okay. Yeah, it helps. Yeah. yeah, it's just tuning. Oh, it's on seven Wow. This is the the main battery lead. Is the the company in China who built for us the main. The yeah. And on the other side, you have the twelve volt. Ah, uh, okay. Classic. Battery, yeah. Battery, also from lead. It's also boat in this company. It's a gel battery, you know, for boats. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. And this side is the same, of course. You've got the 
the charge plug yeah. in the original uh, from Porsche. Yes. Yeah. And this is for Porsche yeah. 911. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. And, and then on it, and you see Jerome, there's no gas, there's no fuel, it's only electric. That's how we like to see them. Uh, one thing we haven't mentioned is the brakes. So you're using Porsche uh, yeah. brakes. Porsche, four, 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 two, four, everywhere, four rounds. And we also simulate a kind of efficiency system where maybe in the future you can imagine uh, you recuperate recuperate the energy of the brake maybe to recharge the yeah so regen system already it's simulated yeah, yeah. it's tuning Don't yeah forget about it please guys and the brakes if i can introduce you to my friend laurent you know the tribute yeah laurent is this guy oh that, that's us <laughs> So the funny thing about the brakes, uh, you guys were telling me you can still use the brakes because instead of uh, pads, you actually have uh, uh, like remote. a yeah, but you're not using friction pads. You have something in between the pads. Yes, and there the is brake. kind yeah. of um, like a foam, a yeah. gum material, so not okay. just like maybe on your bike. Yeah, and you really don't really need to. So you can actually that. brake, but don't wear out the paint on the no. the brakes. <laughs> It's also it's also a very strong paint on it. Yeah. Uh, very hot in the oven. Oh, it's color coated. Yeah. It's not a classic paint. All right. So let's jump inside now. Yeah. Sir. All right. Why do we have, do we have a remote control? We have a remote control because one day we are we went in R and Elegance in Chantilly, and we had the opportunity to see uh, for the first time the Maybar Six. The red one, yeah, and uh, talked yeah, with the guy of the company, Maybar, and he was driving the car, the concept like that, and we absolutely <laughs> fell in love with the idea, <laughs> and we decided uh, if it was possible for us to turn electric, to put that idea in the in the project, and we we succeed about it. And it's a fully custom remote control too. You can control yeah. windows, you can control lights, you can control uh, quite everything, air suspension, and also the motor yeah to go forward or backward for the moment we cannot turn the steer yeah yeah all right so 100 and kilowatt 100 kilowatt 200 kilometers so about uh, 120 miles range and a 400 volt system so quite uh something because the funny thing is you managed to do this uh, you started this project over 10 years ago yeah. and the uh, electric system was in the car seven years ago yeah. way before anyone else was doing conversions yeah so at that moment we were not absolutely specialist of that we take advices from many guys we we were not we were just beginners so maybe if we had to reproduce it nowadays would be completely different yeah, yeah but you did a fantastic job now going back into the interior you got custom everything so a dashboard is based on loosely based <laughs> on a uh, on a Porsche, Porsche yeah Porsche Boxster or 996 uh, dashboard. The steering wheel is from a Porsche, a later Porsche. Is it a nine? It's a seven. It's a nine seven. Yes, yeah, I guess yeah. with PDK. Yes, so quite quite new. The funny thing is, there's only one pedal. Why is there only one pedal? Uh, it's only for the brake. We okay. we had the idea at first to put none yeah. inside. Maybe. Back in the days, it would be too much for the, the visitors. Okay. So we decided to put only one and keep the story of the four red disc, keep also the, the classic uh, engine uh, head. So this only pedal is uh, for visitors in reality, it's for sure. And it's funny to imagine that the power now is just from out of the car, okay. remote or steering wheel. Or steering wheel, yeah, yeah. All right, and we still have seats in the back. So yeah, first of all, the the front seats are also from a Porsche. Yeah, it's, it's for Porsche. And yeah. Porsche, and we we yeah. completely built this part to make a concept style from here. Nice. In the middle, and the attention to detail is incredible. Yeah. This we, looks like a like a finished product, like an OEM we, car. Yeah. Have, yeah. So I can charge my phone just here. Yeah. 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 Nice. yeah. And back in the days, it was. Very surprising for the visitors to imagine that the telephone can be inducted, uh, recharged, and now it's current. But yeah, yeah. back in the days, well, it was a funny thing. What about these harnesses? Uh, we have children's. Okay. Uh, they really love roller coasters. They are fans <laughs> of uh, Disneyland. I live personally close to Disneyland, and uh, we wanted to have uh, some uh, connection with kids 
uh, we wanted to present the car as a toy more than a car and it was a, a fun idea to design all right and of course you've got the glass roof it's just fantastic yeah yeah all right the funny, the funny important thing for us is was to turn the, the, the pilot's position turn in blue uh, for many reasons uh, when he drives auto drive alone it's fun yeah. to see there is nobody inside yeah, yeah. and it's also um, in the tribute project a way to put the real owner laurent at his place at the uh, steering wheel all right so he's here all right julien show us everything we need to know about the interior because there's so much going on again this is closer to concept cars and uh, you know a show car or anything so let's review the dashboard the full front end uh, <laughs> again just one pedal that's quite crazy and the seats um, with the incorporated buckle for the, for the seat belt yeah from here and we simulated the Wi-Fi disponib only when you sit there ah nice <laughs> <laughs> all right so the steering wheel again is from a Porsche and uh, you accelerate with the, yeah. those buttons Plus yeah. it's a forward less is backward you have to keep your finger on yeah, it yeah. to, to real work but in reality it's with the remote we, okay we, we do use the, the very often okay all right so now the dashboard the dashboard is a personal and a part of the tribute of the car because you've seen on the this screen this is the road between my house and my best friend's house this road we made it hundreds times to 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 create the car we also simulated uh, the regenerating system the solar system and the speed legal limits because with a classic car, a new electric city car, you don't need to go very fast. So we only decided to have uh, the speed for the city, the road limit and the legal speed. You cannot go faster than that. Okay, all right. And you've got your state of charge. Yeah. Uh, you got the solar panel with yeah. the Porsche-like logo. The, the many apps we can use yeah. in the car. Yeah, including the, the a, um, including, HP yeah. app for uh, reality augmented yeah. around the car. And the speedo is only digital, yeah. yeah. All right, you got the Porsche key. From here, you have a little printer. You see? Oh, yeah. And we can uh, maybe in a future uh, uh, be recognizing by your face or maybe your Bluetooth of the phone and the car should recognize who is inside and print <laughs> the name of the friend sitting inside the car. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, and then you get your iPad for the, the center dash. Yeah. Um, you can hear this blue line over here simulating the two different areas. Blue is the pilot universe and green, gray is the other passenger's universe. We simulated the, the friend, Laurent, is here in this car even when the car is empty. Nice. That's why it's blue. In our ideas, uh, we decided to cut from here to get this part close to Porsche MK2 because okay. it's much, much more beautiful rather than Golf 3 or Classic Polo going from here. Um, no, it's not in our ideas of Porsche Thema, the, these three parts are also concepted, designed oh, as a sweet. classic Porsche rear uh, window. Wings, yeah, and then a cover over the, the motor. Ah, nice, yeah. But it's like a, a portion. Box spoiler, yeah, nice one, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, go through the drivetrain. So you have the smart 4 2 drivetrain just underneath, yeah, and then the battery is under the under bench the seat. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, special uh, part build with the flat door of the of the of the, the flat ground of the car yeah because you have a fully flat you cut all the the floor of the original car yeah yeah so to oh, yeah. turn electric and with the philosophy of electric cars we also wanted in a small old car a flat a fl ground. flat flat floor yeah floor. so what do we have here is that a this is um a pupitre i don't know the word in english what does it do we can take it off, yeah. put an iPad from here, yeah. and get a for ah, okay, okay. presentation. Okay, you know? so it's a pedestal too for the show. So you take it out and you have your uh, iPad that you can do um, yeah. demonstration with. All right, so I think we should look underneath the car. 
Yeah, yeah. Right. let's go under real channels, <laughs> laying down the cars. So over the blue engine, you can see here, everything is homemade and you can easily imagine that. Verny is the city we're living in. So we okay. put this little 3D signature from here. You can see the, the hair system. You can see the accu hair system. Huh? Yeah. We were the, the first uh, seven years ago to have the accu hair system in, in Europe. And lead, this is the 12 volt battery for everything else except okay. the, the engine. And lead is the, the Chinese company who helped us for energy. Okay. And here you have a mirror also. Yeah. <laughs> so you can clearly see the, the, the motor and the differential. All, right. All straight from the 42 from Smart. So there's no chassis on the Polo. How did you manage to bolt on the drivetrain? We completely on, on the cut shell? the yeah. Polo. Okay. It's not really really a Polo anymore, except the out of the, the okay. body kit. Uh, but from inside, it's a full smart for you. Okay. So the front end? Yes. The front end is uh, inspired the most by the uh, 9.8 Inspider. Okay. The, Porsche, the concept, the very first, uh, back in the days. Uh, the special, very special part, and I think even more than the panoramic roof, the, the most work, the most serious design is about front, front lights. Okay, so the headlights were 3D printed, a very special type of 3D printing. Yeah, exactly yeah. the same processes, design, materials, and uh, experience as a real concept car from very big, big marks. Okay. Um, it's a two years work of a designer and a, a producer. Panther, etc. It's exactly the same uh, as a normal design on time and also on money. There is no electric system. We made it, but the design is real same as a real concept car. I don't know if a real concept car exists. <laughs> you, know the, you know the difference, but it's the same the same processes. Uh, it, it's operated by Mission Mission E. Mission E, yeah. Mission E, the yeah. very first, yeah. the very first Mission E. Um, and the design we try to put on the, this uh, facelift is a modern city Porsche. Yes. Yeah. So if Porsche had made a city car, they would have made something like this. Yeah. Yeah. And in our journal, in our uh, must have, we decided to create a rear engine car with a style Porsche, with a front uh, bonnet, with a front Porsche bumpers. Uh, it was in our DNA, we couldn't move at all. Because before this car was electric, it was uh, fitted again with a smart car petrol engine or gas engine. Yeah. And then later on, you converted it to full electric. Yeah. Yeah. We decided not to be disappointed by presenting a car uh, playing on hybrid style and be, I don't know to say in English, and be um, uh, happy, be um, taken off by the real market and uh, we decided to turn electric. Maybe it will cost a uh, lot of money, maybe it will cost us a lot of time, but we decided to put it directly electric. So speaking of time, how long uh, did it take to fully modify the Polo? It's a 10 years work. Yeah, well, it's you can tell, yeah, yeah. We have 10 friends, 10 years work. Everyone in the group has his own specialty, his own job. Of course, a lot of them are working in car industry, helps for saddlers, for carbon parts, for electric, for suspension, but we do it as a hobby, not as a profession yeah. in a way. And it's a 10 years work. The very last two years were very intense, but at least from started in uh, 2010 and ended in 2019. So that's the thing we may have not mentioned. This car was fully finished five years ago in, in 2019. And then obviously things happened in 2019. So you couldn't really show it to the world. Uh, and now you bring this to events around the world. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much, Jerome. In our mind, we wanted to make the European entry of big events like Players, like Bodensi in Germany, like Torino uh, in Italy, like Vevedays in France. We wanted to make this tour over the years 29 or 20. Unfortunately, it takes more time. And we do now one here, a show on our program. Okay, fantastic. So you're still doing it maybe at a lower pace, but you're still doing it. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And earlier I was talking to you guys and I was saying, uh, you guys should bring this in America, show it to uh, the SEMA show or other event um, 
such as ranch works in uh, Orlando, in Florida. So I would love to see this in America. We need to show this to the world, but we also need to show that even a smaller car can be converted to electric and made fully um, fun and exciting. Uh, uh, I would love to drive this today, obviously, we are at a static show, so we can already move it, but it must be quite exciting. And congratulations for making this again, this project 10 years ago. Merci yeah. <laughs> and uh, I really want more people to know that this project is just fantastic. And we need more of those projects. Guys, if you like what you saw today and you want to be just like Julian and all his friends and start building an electric car out of a compact car, and let us know let us know if you want us to cover more of this exciting project in comments below and give us a thumbs up and guys we'll see you in the next one